Good morning and welcome back to Early Riser Workshop. As you can see, I've sanded and finished all of the pieces for our stool, stand, and storage project on our pottery wheel. But before I begin the assembly, I wanted to point out a, a, a real simple fact. The box is not difficult. It's four pieces glued and screwed together in a rectangle. The top doesn't have to be banded. It can just be a piece of plywood cut to shape. And that's all you need. If you were to just build these pieces it would and put the hinge on it, it would work for the project. I've added the complexity of the paddle assembly, the lever, and the lock assembly to have the casters raise and lower within the cabinet. You don't have to do that. If you want to do that, this is how I've done it. But these feet are handy on the bottom of the cabinet to help secure the, the cabinet to the floor when you're working. So that's the introduction. These are the pieces needed to make the assembly, and I'll do that next. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is attach the top hinge along this edge and along this edge of the cabinet. To do that, I'm just going to take the hinge and setting it on the corner so that it's square and lined up with the holes that I've already drilled, I'm going to place the screws in each hole. I'm doing this by hand because these are very small screws and I do not want to strip them out. And so this is the process. I'm not gonna make you watch me put in all these screws and I'll come back after this step is done. Being right-handed, I spun the box around so the hinge is now on my left. And I put the leaf up just a little bit. And this will help me to catch the groove on the inside of the lid to help hold it in place. I have to work with the two hands here. I'm gonna put the middle one in just to hold it tightly while I put the other screws in. Again, I have already pre-drilled these holes. Okay, so I will put the rest of the screws in and we'll go on to the next step. When I got to this last screw hole, the side of the cabinet is in the way of my screwdriver and I found it very difficult to get to it without really using my head. And there we go. <laughs> okay, I flipped the cabinet over and I'm using little half inch spacers as temporary hold, holding points for the paddle assembly. I'm gonna slide that in. And then the paddle assembly will rest with the slot going towards the slot end. And just like this. So now I can put pressure on to screw the casters and the lever. I'll do that next. And I'll do the other three the same way. Okay, now the casters are all mounted and clear all the sides. Now I'm going to put the handle in the middle and I started the screws in the holes that were already pre-drilled and I'm going to leave just a little bit of a point in each one so that I can find the holes that were pre-drilled and I don't end up making new holes. So with these little points, I can line this up in a cabinet. And I also want to make sure that I'm leaving clearance on either side of the lever on the front.
Just apply a little pressure if I need to to bring it in alignment. Okay, lever is on. I can take the temporary cleats out from the inside of the cabinet and the caster is all raised. Let's check it out. So that puts the lever firmly attached. The casters are all in place. While the cabinet's upside down, I'm going to take the feet. We're going to mount those into each of the four corners. And when I come back, we'll flip it over and take the temporary spacers out. We're nearly there now. You probably notice I have flipped it over, but I did remove the carpet from the top of my bench so you can see the action of the cabinet. I'm going to go ahead and pull the spacers out. And I'm going to take the lock now and slide that on the handle. And then taking the screw and washer, I'm going to tighten the slide mechanism down. And as I do this, I want to make sure that I don't over tighten it. I want to leave the sliding action nice and smooth. Well, it's going to take a little bit more work to make it as smooth as I want it. But this is the finished cabinet. So now if I push down and in on the lock, right, the cabinet is mobile. That's pretty cool. If I pull the lock out and up and push it back in, the cabinet is stationary. And anything that I put inside pushing down will not lower or engage the casters. So I can take my materials out of the box use the wheel, put materials back in the box, and it's still stationary by locking it like this. So that's the lock mechanism. That's the final assembly on the cabinet.